Hi guys, it's Candy here. So I would, said I'd do in the previous video on the Lens Baby Soft Focus Macro Kit that I would do a video using it and showing it in real time. But yes, that is a bicycle in my living room. Don't worry, I've just moved house. Um, so anyway, also check out my cushion. Um, but I digress. The thing is, a lot of feedback I get on my own YouTube channels and in my tutorials I do is that not everybody has a studio, okay? And I am very fortunate that I have a studio and I have a lot of fancy equipment. Um, and I don't think that's a fair way to show someone how to use this kit because macro photography you can pretty much do anyway. You don't necessarily need to have studio lighting. You don't need to have amazing light. You can just use natural light, which can be amazing. I realize what I've just said there. Don't hate me. Don't come at me. <laughs> but I'm going to use a real time scenario. Like I'm going to do it in like how you might do it. How, how I hate the term Joe average, but like how the regular guy, gal, whoever would use it. So I've got my friend coming over. We're literally going to the local park, possibly into town, take some portrait shots, take some macro shots, like of parts, maybe use parts of her body, like her eyes or her lips, something, just to show you it can be used. And I want to show you it more real because Lens Baby isn't about confining you to one thing. It's like their logo, their, their logo, their slogan is to shoot extraordinary, right? and see in a new way. And I think this is what I need to be doing more, less confined to studio and more tactile because lens baby lenses are incredibly tactile in all aspects, from the engineering to, to how you use them. You're very, very switched on. It's, it's like, it's like bringing a little bit of the film photography back into digital. And I, I really appreciate that. So that's what I'm going to do. So follow me as we go off to the park. I don't know how it's going to be because the park's just had a massive festival and I don't know what state it's in, but we'll play. We'll play. <laughs> my legs look really short. You might remember my friend Corin from much videos. Every single video I've pretty much done in the world has involved you lately. <laughs> Corin is really kindly. Let me take these off so I look right. What is happening? <laughs> Corin very kindly after her CrossFit session. Unicorns be like. <laughs> decided to come and help me do this video. So this is real time realness. Like she's had no prep other than I bought her a ginger beer. So because I was kindly sent the nickel one. I put it on my full frame because I'm pretty sure not everybody's gone mirrorless yet and this is just show your full frame. One of the questions we often see in the uh, group chat is, hey, does anyone know what this looks like on this camera, this camera? So this is a full frame one on a Nikon, Nikon, please don't come at me. So at the minute I have the Soft Focus 2 on. It is a beautiful, as you can see, I am squinting. This girl is not built for sunshine. I am a moon baver because I'm that pale. <laughs> I'm getting an extra tan with you sitting up. I'm so, honestly, I, the fun fact, I was once uh, told to step away from a model when I was working as an assistant because I reflected the light, I was that pale. I'm a walking reflector. <laughs> I am a walking reflector. Yay! Okay, so let's just get this off. Move your head slightly that way, obviously. Perfect, I'm just going to focus. I will say, it really helps use live view on these ones and you can zoom in. Now, obviously you're mirrorless, you would have, we don't necessarily have the viewfinder, but you have the um, the live view. So is it a viewfinder you don't have? I can never remember because my mirror's long since been in the shop to repair. Um, so you use this and I can then zoom in and make sure to nail that focus. But I'm shooting at F8 and needs to say, it's a bright day, but that backlit goodness is looking lovely. This next clip I'm actually filming use the soft focus because it's important to remember these can also be used for videography. And here are the backlit images that I said I took. I've now added the macro plus four so that I can get some nice reflections in Corin's sunglasses of me because you know, I'm bougie like this. I got the shot, but this is the one I love. Look at those eyes. So Corin and I have retreated to <laughs> the alleyway, the, the tree way. Fancy alley. There's some tree, dappled light for all you cool kids looking for dappled light. Um, backlit goodness. Corin's in some snazzy, gla snazzy glasses that she's just got made because she has prescription, so she can see me better. <laughs> Don't. I'm Terrifying. Take them off so I'm still beautiful. Um, <laughs> so we're using the uh, soft focus two with the stum sunburst, starburst one on because I really like that one. Oh, it's like so pretty. I like less of a muppet, but still really pale. So winner. <laughs> This is me filming using the Starburst backlit, so you can just see how beautiful that light is. You can just see here now how subtle these star shapes are. If you look at the bokeh behind it, you can just make out that star. That's because I was shooting at a high aperture. And this is a difference. Turning Corrie into the sun, you can see here shooting a lot more wide open. Just look how more defined those Starbursts are. 
So we're in dappled light, what quite clearly you can see. Um, and Corin wears these glasses, but one thing Corin also possesses is the most amazing eyes. They're like really light coloured, so you can get lots of reflection. Do you feel really humbled now? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and with the starburst i'm calling it the starburst aperture disc we are getting um these sort of stars beaming off anything reflective i managed to get one in her eye and i'm going to keep pushing it to get it better and better poor corin isn't having to stare into the sun but she has having to have the sun sort of bounce on the corner like i am here it's so good i'm using the macro ring plus four to get that knowing the focus is a little difficult but i'm hoping i've got it this is without any of the aperture discs added. You can see it's a very nice shot. You can see clearly fine, but this is what happens when we add the aperture disc. You see that the stars coming. You get more and more stars if you look for things where the light is naturally bounced about. So her eyeball, the sides of her glasses, which is why we've got these beautiful stars showing. And once again, videoing just so you can see it there as the light hits, instantly you get those stars. I think this is absolutely beautiful. It's so surreal to see it and I absolutely love it. Honestly, hands down my favorite bit in the kit. Obviously there was different aperture discs available, so this is using one of the others. I love this, it's kind of like a little flare. These next two are my favourite images. I love the softness of this one, but the absolute drama intensity of this one. That flare is just capturing camera and blows my mind and the detail. Uh, so if you're going to use the aperture disc, you need stuff where light is bouncing off. And you'll see that in the video. Uh, we used Lee's, we even shot into the sun. Corinne did a cheesy hand holding one, so it looks like she's holding the sun as a starburst. You really appreciate that one, don't you? On a cruise ship. <laughs> we call them cruise ship photos because they're like what people do you know when they lay in, they stand against the Helene Tower of Pisa and pretend they're holding it up. Um, so look for those. Macro, I was like, I'm not so sure I know what I'm gonna do with this. In the end, Corin's eyes were the best thing we photographed. Not that the only that the only option, but they were really cool. I think there's a spider crawling up my leg. <laughs> Now you have another option. <laughs> now I have another option, <laughs> as I mildly panic away and run away. Um, so yeah, we are going to disappear because there's mosquitoes everywhere and I'm like a buffet for those guys. So we're going to go. It was good. It was good. But I will say, if you need a macro on somebody, <laughs> you're going to get so up and close and personal. As Corinne said, she feels like she needs to sign an extra consent form <laughs> to be that close. So be mindful. Um, I did try some flower stuff, so hopefully they've come out all right. But there are so many better lens baby ambassadors who do flowers than me. I do people. I photograph people and stuff. So anyway, let's go. As I scurry off, I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And don't forget to follow Lens Baby on all the social medias and myself. Bye.